Tropical storm Francine formed today in the western Gulf of Mexico and all eyes are now on Houston and Louisiana where it may make landfall as a hurricane later this week. Troy Kless spoke with officials who say they've been busy moving equipment offshore. No matter the size of the storm, coastal agencies are preparing for impacts. And we are looking at now maybe high tides hitting as early as uh, Tuesday afternoon. Um, instead of Wednesday morning, which is what we were kind of working with and um, potentially as high as four foot above mean uh, plus wave height on top of that. Peter Davis is chief of the Galveston Island Beach Patrol. Already moving um, trash cans off the beach. There's so many of them out there that we have on the whole 32 miles of beach. And so our coastal zone management crew under the Park Board of Trustees has been out there already today working and we're making plans to protect some of our um, equipment. Meanwhile, the city of Houston and Centerpoint Energy mobilizing their resources. Mayor John Whitmire saying in part of a statement, our readiness efforts include pre-positioning generators, deploying high water rescue vehicles, and ensuring increased staffing levels across essential departments. Centerpoint Energy says it is also pre-staging crews in the event of power outages, preparation from Houston down to the coast, where officials are urging people to watch the forecast closely. So just be super, super aware, hyper aware of what's going on. Remember, these are going to be a really dynamic thing that's going to be developing quickly. Um, we don't know the strength of it yet. We don't know, you know, wind speed and we don't know the actual height of the, the tides in our area. So we don't know or how much rain. That was Troy Kless reporting. Governor Abbott says the state's Department of Emergency Management is mobilizing its resources wherever the storm may hit.